All right. So good morning, everyone. Pete Erickson here, uh, founder of Modev and the creator of Voice Summit. We have another live stream interview this morning uh, with one of our speakers from Voice Summit coming up July 22nd through 25th in Newark, New Jersey. Michael Novak, the founder of Digital Transformation Partners. Michael, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, sir. Very well, thank you. And you? Good. You don't have to call me, sir. <laughs> You can call me Pete, um, but uh, but anyway, uh, so, uh, well, first, most importantly, did you have a nice uh, long weekend? It was, thank you. You know, I'm uh, here in beautiful downtown Virginia, and unfortunately, the weather is becoming summer a little too soon. Right. So a little hot, a little humid, but um, right. pardon me, had a chance to get out and enjoy the time. How about you? Oh yeah, well, we had a we had a multifaceted weekend. My, my kids are seven and eight, and we were fortunate enough to go to the beach, uh, Bethany Beach, Delaware, this weekend. Uh, we took them out of school early on Thursday, which was good thinking on our part in hindsight because the big storms that hit us on yes. Thursday afternoon, uh, the neighbors lost a huge tree right across the street from us. Took out two cars, and uh, fortunately nobody got hurt. But um, man, those were quite some storms we missed. Um, and uh, we came back in time to have a nice, uh, nice Memorial Day, and everybody's back at it today. Um, so here we are. And, and um, uh, Michael, I, I've known you now for some time. I've watched you really kind of immerse yourself in this voice first industry. And I think, you know, at the start here, I would love to hear a little bit about um, Digital Transformation Partners and your take on on voice and the voice first industry. So just share share a little bit uh, with us about you, your organization and your mm -hmm. thoughts on the industry. Sure, well, thank you. So uh, I got into voice back in uh, what, 2014, I think the dawn of voice. Um, part of that, I was in enterprise sales and I saw that voice was going to be one of those next new emerging technologies that was very foundational. It's going to apply to all industries. So I involved myself with the Alexa skills, downloaded my GitHub, got up to speed on that. And wow, it really opened my eyes to how voice really can help not just the consumers, but also in the business to business side. And now we're starting to see some more traction in the government to citizen side. So mm -hmm. currently, uh, my company, Digital, um, pardon me, <coughs> uh, currently my company is focused on working with startups and SMBs that are trying to find traction in how they can apply voice AI across all their different uh, uh, industries and different functions such as marketing, such as supply chain such as CX, you know, that citizen's experience. So it's been very exciting, very, very fruitful. Oh, that's great. So, um, and at, uh, at, at Voice Summit, you have put together a panel, looks like some great folks on the panel. Uh, you've got uh, Noel La Charite, uh, La Charite, excuse me. Yeah, uh, Principal yes. PM Manager for Katana at Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft's also a sponsor of the event. Thank you so much, Microsoft. Uh, Vineet Sinha, uh, R&D Emerging Tech at Salesforce. Yes. Um, uh, David Judge uh, and Ben Parkinson, uh, Ben Parkinson, excuse me, Vice President of Sales at, at Balance Group, also another uh, motive, motive sponsor. Tell us a little bit about the panel, why you brought it together, and uh, what, you, what you hope to accomplish. I'll, I, will tell, I will say the title here. It's From Shop Floor to Top Floor, Voice of the Choice for Enterprise CRM Operations and Customer Experience. Say no more. I think you've done it. Let's uh, end the interview and we'll move on. <laughs> so, Tell us yeah, a little bit about uh, about how this came together. Sure, sure. So again, you know, there's been a lot of emphasis since the beginning of voice AI emerging with Alexa and also Google Voice and the other vendors. The initial focus has been on B2C because that's where they could get the most traction. But I mm -hmm. saw a lot of similarities to the uh, emergence of smartphones, for example, where they started out as consumer devices and then slowly pushed their way into business and then slowly into the public sector. Mm -hmm. So I see a lot of similarities currently with voice AI. And I felt after being at the conference last year, 
I said, this is a great conference. And I'm not just saying that for the obvious reason. It is a great conference. You had great presenters, but I felt there needed to be more emphasis on that B2B side. What are businesses now doing to incorporate voice again into all their lines of business, but then internally into their processes? So I mm -hmm. reached out to friends of mine at SAP, such as David Judge and Salesforce, and of course, Noel, to talk about what is going on in 2019 that's been different from the previous years. And across the board, they all said, hey, our companies get it. This is now a foundational technology that we cannot ignore for our customers. But now customers don't necessarily mean who we sell products to. Mm -hmm. It's our people inside the building, inside our company that want to use voice to do a variety of different functions. And I said, mm -hmm. this is important. This is where that next wave is coming from. And it's key that we talk about what's going on. Now I can expand a little bit more, but that's the uh, 20 second highlight. Well, I think the, I think the thing about the enterprise, you know, one of the stats that a lot of people put, put out there is that, you know, we talk 120 to 150 words per minute. You know, we type a decent typer types at about 40 words per minute. So if you take that time, just that, just that one stat and you apply it to the workforce, yes. the savings are exponential just in terms of work time, time spent. Mm -hmm. I also think about, you know, I sit at my desk most days, um, you know, anywhere from seven to 10 hours uh, working. And a lot of what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm either writing or I'm looking for data, right? I'm, I'm measuring things. Um, I'm measuring the performance of the conference in a number of ways or working on something or a uh, proposal or a document. Mm -hmm. So as I sit here and work, I would love to just be able to say, you know, how many landing page hits do we have today? Um, yes. Just things like that to have a conversation. So I'm not stopping what I'm doing, going and check, reading, analyzing. The AI is doing the analysis for me and I'm basically you know, just having a conversation while I work and do other things that maintain sure. a, a much higher level of productivity. And I think I think companies get that. So as Salesforce comes out with Einstein, as you see the the uh, announcement by Satya Nadella with regards to Cortana and the enterprise, mm -hmm. um, you know, Alexa for business. I think we're starting to see, and even Adobe's getting into this game. Yes. You know, with their acquisition of uh, SaySpring and uh, Adobe Experience platform, I. I think that um, we we are yeah just on the precipice here, and I think your panel will reflect that just in terms of like where where we're headed. So um, you know we're we're really excited. Again, that panel is going to be on the twenty fifth on day three of the conference, correct? Uh, at you. three in the afternoon, and I would say we're finishing very strong with panels like this, Michael. So I appreciate uh, you bringing this together. Would love to know from you, uh, one of our speakers, a couple of predictions you have for where we're gonna be in 2020, as we're having this conversation and we look to next year, um, sure. where do you think we're gonna be a year from now um, related to you know to this industry? And what do you think the biggest change is gonna be um, that we'll notice as consumers and as folks who are in the workforce? So I'll answer that question slightly backwards, starting with the workers. It's taking time and you know how much time it's taken to get the B2C world to begin to accept, yeah, I can now talk to my device and ask what the weather is, ask about new skills on Alexa, et cetera. I don't expect this to be an overnight sensation. It's gonna be a process because we're talking about corporations that have a lot of rules to go through. There's intellectual property, there's processes to change. It's gonna take time. What I'm encouraged by and what I look forward to next year is that it won't be a quizzical surprise. They will look at this and say, oh, well, of course, that's a great idea. I don't have to put my hands on the computer and be distracted. As you mentioned, I can continue to do my supply chain ordering. And while I'm doing it, I can say, hey, computer, um, what's the state of procurement order 1235-7? and continue working and have it come in and talk to me. So what I predict 
is not a revolution, but just an expectation that, well, of course I can do that. That just makes it more efficient. That's what I'm looking forward to. I love it. I love it. So what I did is I just threw up uh, Michael's talk here, uh, his panel on from shop floor to top floor, voice is a choice for enterprise CRM operations and customer experience. As you can see, some top, top, top names on this panel uh, with companies that are making big bets in the voice first industry as it relates to the enterprise. Michael, it's always a pleasure to speak with you. We look forward to seeing you at the end of July. And um, uh, in the meantime, we'll be in touch and uh, look forward to uh, look forward to that. And uh, thanks again for supporting Voice Summit. Well, thank you, Pete. I do appreciate your time. And just remember, voice is the choice for consumers, business, and the public sector. Awesome. So I'll put out a little uh, little note here. So uh, the website is voicesummit.ai. Uh, the event is July 22nd through the 25th. This is the largest voice tech event of the year. Uh, tickets will, uh, prices do increase on May 31st. So definitely get registered. And whether you're just trying to get your hands around this industry, we have more than 300 speakers from, uh, from over 20 countries coming to Newark at the end of July, everything from getting started to large enterprise deployments and everything in between. We'll be having uh, many special announcements at the event from uh, major brands who are going to be announcing new, you know, audio branding uh, strategies and uh, new products. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Voice Summit.ai, July 22nd through the 25th. I'm Pete Erickson, and we look forward to seeing you there. Cheers. Thanks, Michael. Thank you, sir.